Hello, everyone. A um, few words on Fremantle Media first. We're one of the, or if not the, uh, world's largest content production company. Um, we distribute shows in 140 countries. Those are some of the brands that we, that we, we produce and distribute. Um, Basically, everywhere there's a TV market, an entertainment market, there's a free mental media show. That's the world map of Got Talent uh, in red. It's where they have a local version, and in blue, it's where they actually have on air the American version. But basically, you know, we're everywhere. Um, those shows, they're, you know, they're shows, but they're brands that we exploit uh, on as many platforms as possible, including consumer products and uh, home entertainment, uh, obviously, as well as digital. Um, and on digital only, last year, for example, clips on YouTube that we exploit from these shows generated 2 billion views uh, in 2011 alone. So 2 billion views is 5.5 million views a day, uh, and we're not paying for that audience. On the contrary, we are monetizing that audience and, uh, and make a lot of money from it. And everything we do in digital has to achieve one or two or the three of these objectives of either monetization of the audience or acquisition of new audience or retention of already existing audience. Um, and it's the same on TV and it's the same with, with digital uh, online original brands. Um, those are some of the examples that, of shows that we produced in the US, in UK, in Italy, in Bulgaria. Um, you know, Germany is also a big market for us. These being digital, some are brand funded from the start uh, Secret Girlfriend and others already made the leap from web to TV, but really we are in, you know, in digital as well, we are, we are in the business of building new brands and exploiting them. So today I'm bringing you uh, three of those brands. Um, let's start with, with Sorted. Sorted is, uh, was one of the first uh, uh, tests of launching new brands uh, in the online space. We launched it on YouTube and nine months after the launch it became uh, the UK's number one cooking channel and the world's number four cooking channel on YouTube. Here's a short clip. Uh, it's an extract of a, of a longer video, but I'm going to cut it at some point. There's sound in that video. This is Ben. And this is Barry. That is special. Together with their friends, they are the faces of Sorted, the interactive cooking community with a mission to get their generation in the kitchen. Sorted is all about quick, simple, tasty grub to cook with your mates. With video recipes, comedy clips, and personal interaction with their audience across YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and a bespoke site, Sorted offers something completely different. Cooking exactly how the audience wants it, brought to them on the platforms where they already spend their time. So I'm going to cut here. If you want to watch more, you, know, you can come and see me. I can show it to you. But as I said, in nine, in nine months, we launched it in the UK. Well, obviously, it's available globally. And it became uh, the number one in the UK and number, one, and number nine uh, in the world. And really, for us, great success online. Fantastic. We're really happy. But we're here to create a brand and to exploit it. So we have actually a deal with Penguin. Uh, for those who are not from the UK, you know, Penguin is a very big, if not the largest, uh, book publisher. Uh, equivalent to uh, La Rousse in France, and, um, and there's a, a book of sorted, a cooking book, uh, being released uh, in August. Um, so in two months' time, go and check it out. And we're also working with brands. Kenwood and EMI pay us uh, to either have their products featured on the video or their artists, their music artists, to come and cook with us. Uh, live event, PR, press, TV appearances, and we are now discussing with uh, broadcasters in the UK to have sorted uh, TV shows. So typically, that's the kind of example I really want to show it to you. And um, second project I've brought you uh, today is the Pet Collective. That's one of the hundreds of new channels that YouTube has announced that they would launch in the US. As you probably know, they are spending a lot of money and getting a lot of people to produce uh, new, new, new content for them. Pet Collective, the name says it all. Um, it's a channel for pet lovers, but it's also a, an umbrella brand to kind of uh, harness and gather uh, viral pets videos. Here's the trailer. Our pets know about us. They are aware of what we're thinking. Our special needs dogs are the hardest ones to place. One of my favorite things to do at Australia Zoo is to hold these beautiful alligators. One of my favorite things to do at Australia Zoo is cuddle our cute little devils. Aren't they gorgeous? Hi, I'm Anime Lily 
Plus, and this is Kitchen on a Keyboard. So this is a good example of you know the type of niche channel, but you know finding a, a, a niche as big as possible and launch content around it. Machinima is the perfect example of that. Um, a new, a new series, a new, a new show every day. You can see the lineup here. For one of them, we are very happy to have Chloe Kardashian. She's uh, uh, dubbing a, a, a kitten uh, in, in, in a show called The Litter. And uh, we launched uh, at the end of April, and in less than a month, we had uh, already 3 million views. So uh, CNN did features on it, and it's, uh, it's trending a lot in the UK, in the US, sorry, uh, showing how crazy Americans are with, with their pets. Uh, we're very happy about it, and we have a second channel launching on YouTube uh, in two weeks. So this is a kind of, a, of an exclusive for you guys. It's called Thinker, and uh, it's launch launching on uh, July 2nd by Art Radical Media, one of our uh, subsidiary. Thinker. <laughs> I've decided that I'm actually going to buy all of the women in my life this book. What it really did for me and, and probably a lot of other chefs really just opened our eyes to what was happening, what was really out there. I like this book. You know why? It makes a very weird noise when you throw it against the wall. If not, what America will do for you. A lot of things go into making a great speech. I love you both so much. I think it depends to a large extent on context. This is my last play of football ever! I'm going to cut here um, and share with you some lessons that we learned along the way in creating uh, those brands, taking everything that we've learned from uh, the creation of the world's major TV brands uh, uh, into, into the, the making of these new type of brands. The first one, the keys in the brand. You know, there's a lot of content out there. There's a lot of, of things available for people to click in, and everything is one click away from the rest. So the key is in your brand. Uh, uh, that's what will make people prefer uh, your content against someone else's. Um, not everyone wants to interact. You know, not everyone is here to you know, uh, be, be a user and sending a video. So make sure that the audience is, the, um, the experience is compelling enough, even if people only watch a snippet of everything you have to, to offer. Uh, the third learning, I would say, is to manage the engagement. In engagement, you know, the audience being engaged is not something that you can throw on people or oblige people to be. Um, so it's all about the management of that engagement and also, uh, most importantly, offering um, different ways for people to get en engaged, whatever their, their abilities are. And, uh, and distribution is as important as production. Um, you know, can produce the best content ever. If you're bad at distributing it, um, you know, it's, it's a shame. So uh, I'm here talking about, yes, paid media. You can pay to attract eyeballs, but most importantly, it's all about our own media. It's all about organic growth. It's all about making sure that the people who want to find you find you. And it's all about tagging metadata and all of this. Thank you very much. Hello, sir. Excellent presentation. Let's just pop over here, grab your... Uh... So remain the same, same, uh, same setup, Mimi. Sorry. Um, was it any questions from the audience? Yes, down there. Do you want to just jump? Can you grab that mic right there? Yeah. Nice. Can you can you tell us who came up with the original idea from Sorter, for example? Is it, you have creative people inside? Are you are you open to suggestion? Do you receive, you know, people and with concepts? How does that work out? We are, we are open to ideas. Uh, that's what we do. You know, we work with, uh, with creators. So yeah, we are open to ideas. In the case of Sorted, we scouted the talent. Uh, they were doing things already, but we relaunched everything with them. And um, yeah. So, so Sorted came to you, the I, creatives? We came to Sorted. Oh, you came to Sorted. Them. Oh, you yeah. liked them. OK. Because we liked them. So how did you find In them? In the case of Pet Collective, it's entirely uh, developed in-house. Same with Thinker. So you know, it's a mix of, of both. We spend a lot of a lot of money uh, uh, on development. Obviously, being a creative, you know, a, co a company that specializes in, in in creating IP. But you know, creativity uh, can be found everywhere and in many forms. How did you find Sorted? Chance. <laughs> you walked into no, a bar and you're like, "Hey, those guys look no, pretty but, great." No, but it's 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 a mix of things. It's because you know yeah. you do what you do that you then you stumble across things and yeah. then they make sense. So and then let me ask sense. you this. Last question, what, what, what made 
sorted so important to you? What did you think that they had that you thought that was going to travel well and that you thought it was a Fremantle property for the web? It's a great question because really to us, it was because it was a mix of both what we knew to do, which is, you know, it's truly this was a producer gut feeling. Those guys are going to be great. I'm going to work with them and break them. Mm -hmm. That was, you know, the old way of doing it. And that was this plus the brand, the marketing, the ability for the, these, these people to actually speak to a new audience and, 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 and yeah, just own that niche. Nice. Thank you very much. Great presentation. Round of applause for Damien.